Hey everybody, this is Jake and this is another video in the technical analysis series. Today we are going to talk about the anchored volume by price and the anchored volume weighted average price used in conjunction. So for those that are not familiar with the volume weighted average price anchored from a particular level, this was created by Brian Shannons, who is the founder of Alpha Trends, and it is an indicator that you can use on the platform currently. And so the way Brian has taught this, especially myself, he's taught me, you know, you want to anchor this from important reversal areas. So generally what I like to do is anchor the volume by price and the volume profile, uh, excuse me, the volume by price and the anchored view app from the same area. So you'll see here, if we anchor the volume weighted average price from this particular area, you can see the price didn't necessarily get exactly down to you know the exact 22 mark. Now the nice thing is we also have the volume profile here which we can move around. So notice I like to anchor it from this same point and use these two things in conjunction. So what you'll see here is you'll see that even though the price did not get down exactly to the anchored VWAP, it did get down to this first level of huge demand, which is this big area of volume that's sticking out. So essentially you can see there are a ton of people holding from around 2280 down to around 2210. So this naturally acted as a support area below. One cool thing that we can do is look at Tilray. Tilray is another really good example of this where you can anchor the volume by price in the volume profile from a particular period. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to anchor the VWAP from this candle and we're going to anchor the volume profile from where we've capitulated on January 8th. Notice how the volume weighted average price anchored from January 21st was initially almost perfect resistance here and then we pulled back a little bit before breaking through it. And then you can use the volume profile or the volume by price anchored from this particular point here. And you can see how much volume was holding above, which didn't only act as a magnet for price to move up to, but it also acted as an area of resistance above for price to kind of get uh, stopped a little bit. And that's because so many people we're holding at a loss from this area. Some people who now are at break even are like, all right, I'm out. I just want to break even and get my money back. Other people could be adding to their positions here, and you'll see this uh, area may continue to get bigger and bigger as price continues to interact with this particular area. So this is something that is very useful. You can really use this in any type of you know, market. It's not just stocks. You can use it in crypto. You can use it in, um, you know, any ETF as well. So it's definitely something that I like to use, especially with um, options trading. So what I'll do is I'll look at the common stock price and then I'll actually just trade the option on that. So, you know, there's a ton of different ways to trade this. That's how I personally trade it. You know, I'm just a retail trader. I'm not. Let us know what you think. Leave a comment below and make sure to subscribe to check out more videos like this. If you have any questions, reach out at hello at trendspider.com and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks so much for listening and we'll see you again soon.